Okay, welcome back on day two of us being sick. Is it day two or day three? I can't remember. So now the kids are sick. <laughs> Alexander didn't drink his um, nighttime, his 10 p.m. bottle or his um, 7 a.m. bottle. So that means it's time for Pedialyte. I have, a, um, I have cold ones in the fridge, but they're too cold. It's too cold right now. And Christopher, he didn't drink his milk. Um, it's 7 a.m. 7 a.m. bottle. And uh, so that means no more milk for none of them now. It's all about Pedialyte. Amazon Fresh is, is about to. Amazon Fresh is about to be my best friend. Um, because I can't go outside. I'm too weak to even carry one bag of anything. This is supposed to be a fun vlogmas for 2022. And everything is a shit show. My husband's home. He's sick. The only person who is not sick is my eldest son. And he's driving me crazy. He's driving me crazy. He knows the rules, but he, he's not following the rules. He's drinking after me. Yesterday, I, I had um, like a little lip tint just to, you know, sweeten my mouth because I needed something sweet. He drank after me. So I'm like, oh my God, no, no. You're going to be sick. You know about germs. You, you studied about germs. You know about germs. Why are you drinking after me? You don't know. The, his favorite word is, I don't know. I don't know. That's his favorite thing to say. Or no comment. Or I have nothing to say. And it drives me nuts because I'm trying to make him speak in sentence. Speak. Because Christopher can speak and Alexander is trying to speak. So he's the only one who could speak. And he don't want to use his words. It's like, I don't even know what to do. Should I bring him to therapy? Should I bring a tutor? And I'm sick. Right? I try to stay in bed. Okay? The boys know what to do in the morning. In the morning, I wake up earlier than the kids. And I make them a bottle. Christopher wakes up. And he sees the bottle next to him. On my, on my little cart. He gets up get the bottle he go right back to his bed or he goes on the couch and watch tv or whatever his first brother is watching the baby he just reached for the bottle because i put it next to him sometimes i don't even feel like getting up he reached for the bottle and he drinks it and when he's fully awake he stands up in the bed and that's when i know it's time to wake up okay everybody has a small routine and the routine is being disrupted because we're all in this house sick. So now, I'm going to have to put my diffuser, put some peppermint oil. I have some peppermint oil here. I'm going to put it on, on my diffuser. <laughs> this is an organic thing, but I don't know. It's, it's not get, I don't know, because I can't smell. I was saying it's not giving me peppermint, but it is. I'm making um, dry soup for William, taking care of him, and um, I'm gonna stop this one. I'm making hot soup. Yes, I can touch a hot pot. <laughs> I'm 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 at that level now. I made some soup with some leftover chicken from the other day, um, and then I I cut up some vegetables and put it in there. My husband can only have the broth, so that's it. I'm doing my best. Um, I might show you a small clip of what I'm watching. Um, Christmas movies that I'm watching today. Because um, it's all about Christmas movie or TV shows. Because um, <coughs> And these coughs are random. <coughs> and it's in my chest. And um, oh man, oh man. I can feel it. I did a little, um, a little remedy for my husband, the, the, the lemon and the honey thing, and I put in his tea, I serve it to him by spoon, some shots, 
uh, today I'm going to mix it up with some liquor uh, so it could, it could burn the chest a little bit and uh, that's it it's just rest and take some Tylenol and NyQuil and just rest that's all we can do for Vlogmas um, but we, we will get back on track um, I have some plans for the kids we all have to get better in order to get to the pants like I, I had to Christmas tree, door decoration, um, putting up lights, making here look festive. Um, I had the kitchen, I had to like redo it again, make it look cute for New Year's. You know, New Year's in the household, in the Haitian household, is a big deal. Um, it's a really big deal. Uh, you guys know the history of 1804. We're not independent, so like we get ready for our soup, our soup jumu. I'm supposed to go and get my my oxtail. My husband, my husband loves oxtail in his soup, and that's expensive. And people get them early, so right now I, I can't even bring him to school. I can't even bring my first son, my eldest, to school. So I can't even imagine doing anything. Okay, I did my best yesterday, as you can see in the last clip. I'm gonna try take a shower. I'm gonna try. Um, if not, I'm just gonna stand there and just let the water <laughs> let the water hit my chest and let the steam open my nose and just like stand there. You never did that, like just stand there. I wish I had those little um those rock salt. Those aromatherapy rock salts so you put it in the tub. And then you take a shower and it just, it's just like, you know, so I'm going to see if Amazon Fresh can send that to me because I need, I need help. I need help. And I can't, I can't call my husband niece downstairs. She's very sensitive. Um, she's easily sensitive like Christopher to getting a cold. And, um, and he has another niece. She started working. I don't want to call our, um, I mean, I will pay her because <clears throat> the last two visits she came, she did it for free. But now I'm like, I'm not doing that again. I, I, I'm, I'm making you come out of your house to come and watch my kids. I mean, even though they not, they don't do nothing. You, when you come to my house and you watch my kids, you sit down, watch TV, you could be on your phone, whatever. Because my kids... <laughs> They don't need nothing. You give them the tablet, the phone. It's like you're there and not there. You're just supervising. That's all. The baby has sleep schedules, and he's 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 so alert to the sleep schedules that he just falls asleep. All you have to do is carry, pick him up, bring him to the bed, bring a bottle with him. He will pick and choose when he want to drink the bottle, and that's it. That's it. Let me go ahead and go take care of my family take care of myself do the best I can I'm excited for my new appliances I don't even have time to even show you guys my new appliances I have a washing and dryer now um, I'm so excited but I, I'm too weak to do anything so now I'm going to have to take my clothes um, when I feel better and bring it to the washing the, the laundry mat and then let, let them clean it, wash it, fold it and then um, we can start all over fresh because there's no way, there's no way I could do anything, no way. But what I'm doing here is bare minimum. Yep. Um, let me just go ahead and leave that with you guys and see if, yeah. <laughs> small clip of us eating chicken 
and um, I'm still sick. I'm with a fever. Um, Alexander is sick. Christopher is sick with a fever. Um, I think he just woke up. He's been off and on inside the room, sleeping. Um, this boy is chewing up this chicken bone. But if I take it from him, he starts crying. I don't know what to do. I feel like they, I wish they invented like a thing where, um, like if a mother or the parents are sick somewhere, they send help. Because both of us are sick and I, my husband is pretty bad. Like he's really sick, really, really sick. And I'm sick. I'm bad too. It's just like, damn, man. You know, lady. <laughs> what men so dramatic? Because I'm sick. I'm with a fever. I had to give him food, take care of him, entertain him, entertain the other one. While I'm sitting here, like, I'm not complaining. But come on. I need to rest too. I didn't take my medicine. I didn't take the cold, the cold medicine because it makes me a little drowsy. And if I fall asleep, who's who's going to supervise? Who's going to watch? And my my husband's taking it and he's off and on. He's in and out. He haven't ate anything. He's drinking water. He's been coughing. He's been spitting. My son, Christopher, he's sick. He has a, a temperature of 100. Uh oh. Want another one? I'll give you another one. Ooh, let me take this one out. Uh oh. You can't be throwing chicken bones on the floor like that. Okay? Huh? Can't be throwing chicken bones like that. Huh? Oh, it's a chicken bone. Chicken bone. Yeah. So my baby's going to be one years old. Say hello world. I'm going to be one years old. And I'm eating chicken bones. <laughs> I'm going to be one years old everyone. Hello. I'm going to have a one year old baby. I'm so excited. I love you. Uh huh mom. It's yummy. Yummy. So he had like three chicken bones. Um, he has a teeth coming out soon. So we have four teeth already. That's four teeth already. And um, he had his fifth teeth mm -hmm, is coming in soon. So, and also while he's sick, I'm trying to wean him off the pacifier. I always do this when they turn like yeah. one or. Think up to maybe up to eighteen months. I give them up to eighteen months, and then I stop the pacifier. But for him, I'm gonna try to do a little early because he's sick. I do it every time they're sick. Every time they're sick, I take it off, and I don't give it back to them. Like they could cry, they'll cry, and they go to sleep. That's it. No more. Bye bye. That's. I I wait till they get sick. I know that's bad, but I wait till they get sick because eventually they're gonna get sick, right? So I wait till they get sick. When they get a little older, past one year so, then I stop giving it to them. Because, first of all, they can't breathe, right? So they have the pacifier put in your mouth. You can't breathe. So they take off the pacifier. So now that you took off the pacifier and can't breathe, you don't need it. <laughs> I know it's a little game changer, but it's a little thing I do. Like, it's a little me thing, you know. Right? Huh? He's like, I'm seeing you eating my chicken bone. Mm-hmm. It's good? Yeah. Damn it. Don't put it in your hair. Yeah. 
Goes right on my shirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As long as you're comfortable. Like, comfortable, comfortable. Like, yeah. Yeah. You comfortable? Are you comfortable? Mm. Give me a kiss. Excuse me? No. No, 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 no. Excuse me. You're you're my baby. <laughs>